the Cadillac to control the valve of this airplane was in the movie Tour of Tour 2. Tour of this particular airplane did star in that show. Next, our carrier base, TBM. Mr. Taylor Rush controls. Now, this is the airplane our past president George Bush flew during the war. He shot down in the TBM of Enter. Take off now with Mr. Dan Damian at the throw the FG1 Corsair. I know some are saying, no, oh, that's not an FG1, that's an F4U. Well, no, that is an FG1. A lot of different companies during World War II were put in production of different things they were originally sent out to produce. Goodyear produced the FG1 under contract from chance bought to build the Corsair. So this is the FG-1 Goodyear built Corsair airplane. Mr. Kent Laird and his foul after that fixed your airplane. No, no, this is not a real owl. This is a reconstruction for the motor Corsair. It's a modified BT-13, a multi-vibrator with a R-985 crack up yeah, front, 450 horsepower, pulling his bow through the air. The fixed wing dive bomber or torpedo bomber. TBM first flown August 1st, 1941. The TBF Avenger was hasn't seen as a midway torpedo airplane. You see the size there, please. Saw how fast they got off the runway. It was a carrier-based airplane. Powered by the same engine as one of the engines on top of the B-25 Panchito and the B-25 bomber. It's a right R-2600. The Eastern Division of General Motors was contracted and recorded the source of supply to build the TBM Avenger. Mr. Ken Leard in our bow. Champagne from Tora, Tora, Tora. TBM and TBF Avenger are giving credit for sinking to the Japan's most largest battleship. The 7,000 pounds of sushi and the Yamato. I'm going to have to stand here, you know, FG-1 Corsair.
the tag rise again in our TVM Avenger. This was a three-man airplane. TBM or TBM Avengers Fleet Half Line for today. The forty wing design was done at a dining room table with a rubber eraser and a paper clip. Taft designed the folding wings of the Grumman, the Wildcat, the Hellcat, the Grumman. All built and designed with a rubber eraser and a paper clip. Sat there, stuck it in a rubber eraser, played a little bit, figured out how he wanted to fold the wings back. We have a flying for us today. Bottom of Terry Rush drove their TVM Avenger. The General Motors built airplane. Now, so Brewster also built the Corsair. So that was an F3A Corsair manufactured by the Brewster Manufacturing Company. Middle Lake Hammer Museum just about has their TBM finished. You see it parked around for display out there. It's almost ready to fire up and fly for us. Not today. We're going to be like to say if we're going to have Terry fold the wings right in front of us today, so we get the Mustang pulled out of the way, get Terry taxed down the ramp, and he's going to fold the wings for us right at Air Show Center. Get a picture how this works. Very, very unique operation. Took up much less deck space on Air Show Carrier. And this is Dan Daniel in the F2-1. Good year, Bill, for us there. Now, this is Dan Daniel who lives in Bridgewater, New Jersey, has a little better than 12,000 plus hours flying airplanes. He flies to the American Air Power Museum out of Farmingdale, New York. He's also demo pop the P-47, the P-40, and the F-4U Corsair. He also pop with the Navy Legacy flight for the year 2004. He's a corporate pop flying test and citations in Canada Air's and Challenger. This is Dan Day with the controls over 12,000 hours flying airplanes. Dan Day with the Corsair, he's got the throw of the bed wing fighter. Now the reason that the wings are airplane, he put the R2800 rail in front of the biggest, most powerful engine, 6,000 horsepower rail engine. Bold up his love behind it. He needs such a big prop to make it work. The prop is his love to you lay that dude along. They couldn't keep the wings straight. He's actually bent the wing of the airplane. Made a landing gear short of made him carry the base aircraft.
Now the Corsair carries a total of six 50 caliber machine guns located in the wings. Some of actually armed with four 20 millimeter cannons and two thousand pound bomb racks or eight rockets on the airplane. A total of 12,571 Corsairs were built. There's only 12 flying in the world today. That's why I'm saying, folks, it's our donations that keep these airplanes flying. Over 12,000 were built, less than 12 flying today. That's the Indian Air Brings the MC-1 Corsair back and slow rolls the airplane right down there to the center line. Corsair, big old R 2800 pulling that Corsair through the air. Now the ailerons on this Corsair are plywood covered in fabric. They're not all sheet metal or metal it's later. F4U Corsairs. From the left, Mr. Dan Daniel, the controls of the F21 Corsair. Robin well, Mays there is by the TV series. Bob Bob Black Jay by the Corsair Force. Isaiah goes out and ran right hand side of the box on a down one leg. He excites the leg here, making sure we got two in the green, prop bowl full of bricks.